Hi, it's Adam back again with another instalment in our fantastic free synth series, this time looking at Surge XT. Surge XT is a free open source synthesizer uh, with a huge amount of power in there. It's a three oscillator subtractor synthesizer that's also capable of linear FM synthesis and wavetable synthesis, as well as supporting audio input so you can use its filters and effects and modulations on any sound source. It's incredibly powerful and flexible and comes with a huge amount of presets built in when you've downloaded it. Now, I'm not going to do a complete deep dive on this as I've done in previous episodes, just because this thing is such a beast. But I'm going to give a, a brief overview and play off some sounds, see what it can do and uh, have a little dig into some of its features. So as I said, it's got three oscillators. You can see one, two, and three up there. Um, this is the wave shape that's on currently. Um, you can use this drop down here to choose different uh, waves. So classic, modern, and uh, wavetables. And also two different FM oscillators. Underneath the oscillator window, you have these sliders, which allow you to go into a huge amount of detail uh, and how to tweak the, uh, the oscillator waveform itself. Uh, and you can see that represented visually up there as well. You get these nice little tool tips as you hover over and move them um, with the value of each thing. You can see how these sliders change. If I switch over to wavetable, you get completely different options, um, which allow you to completely shape and sculpt that waveform. Wavetable synthesis is massively powerful, especially for making kind of modern danced music electronic sounds. And Surge XT comes with a load of them built in. Um, these are the factory wavetables, and it also comes with some third party ones as well. And you can see just how many there are loaded in there already. This section here is the mixer for the oscillators. Um, so you've got your one, two, three. At the moment I've just got uh, the one oscillator live uh, and then you've also got extra faders so you can do things like ring modulation which is modulating one oscillator with another uh, again here you can use it like a normal mixer so you can mute and solo uh, at the moment it's just using the init patch so it's just only one oscillator is uh, available uh, and you can even pan those as well up here you've got options for uh, how it's going to be played on the keyboard so you've got bend range um, you've got things like poly mono and uh, different ways of playing the notes this section here is your filters. It comes with two filters, filter one over here, filter two over there, and then a balance between them. Uh, at the moment it's off, um, but you've got a huge amount of selectable types, uh, low pass, band pass, um, all the different types of filters you could ever want in there. So you can just load in a classic kind of 24 dB low pass. You can hear that. And due to the hugely flexible nature of Surge, you can even do things like change the filter configuration so you can route the filter output of one back into the signal of the other uh, and get some crazy ring modulation effects. You've got options for key tracking here, and then you've got a uh, filter and an amp envelope. Again, I'm just covering this stuff very briefly, but there's loads more information in our article on Music Radar, and there's stuff on the Surge website as well, and there's plenty of really good tutorial videos to get really deep into stuff. Underneath here, you've got options for macros to set up uh, and then a huge amount of LFOs. Um, so you've got actually 12 separate LFOs uh, in here. LFO and SLFO from 1 to 6. Which functionally do the same thing, um, but they can just be rooted in slightly different ways. And despite Surge looking very complicated, and it is very complicated, actually makes it very simple to root stuff around. So in this blue section here is stuff that can be rooted. And um, what you can just do is click on something, and then you see the controls turn blue. Uh, and then that's going to allow me to just touch that and uh, root that to the yellow phone. And then I deselect that, and it turns off. Uh, and you can see there's a blue uh, bar on that control now. So you know that LFO is rooted to the pitch there. So you can do that with LFOs, you can do that with the macros here, eight different macros and things like velocity, uh, poly aftertouch, and all of these different things can be rooted anywhere on the synth if you just click and then uh, you're away. You can also double click to uh, rename the LFOs, which is quite a nice feature if you want to be a bit more organized and help you understand things a bit easier. 
It also comes with a load of effects, um, insert effects which you can put in here. Um, so yeah, there's again a huge amount of options, um, filtering, uh, distortion, uh, loads of fun stuff to play around with. And when you download the plugin, it also comes with uh, the effects rack as a separate thing. So you can use any of these effects and, and insert those onto any sounds without using the synth at all. So that's a super quick overview. What I'm going to do is uh, just load up a few presets, let you hear this thing, let you hear the range of sounds you can get out of it, uh, and then leave you to go and have a play yourself. So the first one I've loaded up here is called Music Toy. Um, it's kind of a toy piano kind of modeled sound. And it's using some clever LFO stuff down here, like envelopes, um, to trigger stuff like the noise and make it really enhance that mechanical nature of it. So they're controlling things like... So you can see the shape of the LFOs they've used here, kind of like envelopes, and they are affecting things like uh, the noise and ring modulation to give you that kind of mechanical noise at the start of the, uh, the tone. Now I've loaded up one called Anthemish One, um, which is just a really nice low grumbly pad. It has an LFO on the filter there. You can see the blue bars mean that that's being affected. And it's got a load of effects applied to it. Um, so you can see it's got an EQ, there's a phaser, a delay and reverb. This one's called Fragile One, a kind of glitchy, noisy piano type thing. Again, using some unusual LFO shapes there to uh, affect some things. With delay and reverb applied for kind of spacey, ethereal kind of vibe. This one's another kind of spooky sound design -y type thing called Cicada Forest. That's using three different LFOs of various shapes uh, and adding in some interesting effects there, uh, a nimbus and a rotary effect. Um, here's another kind of spooky sound design type sound. Just using one oscillator, using a wavetable oscillator. So you can do some really complex sound design with this thing, but you can also get um, your kind of classic um, bass and, and polysynth noises. So yeah, the range of sounds you can get out of this thing is pretty crazy. And it's kind of something in there for everyone, really. Um, real in-depth sound designers can really get to, in, to grips with this and root things all over the place. Um, or it just comes with a load of really great high-quality tones that um, you can be able to use uh, in any sort of music, really. So definitely worth checking out Surge XT. It is a free download. Um, it's constantly being worked on by a team of people. And it's completely open source, which we love. The website you can grab it from is surge-synthesizer.github.io um, or just Google Surge XT and that will bring you there. Do check out our full article on Music Radar for more in-depth details on this. But uh, yeah, download Surge today and give it a go. There's a lot in there to keep you busy.